Hey Skyler. So yeah, we're gonna work on the bed and the rear area uh, under the bed. We're gonna use that for storage. So I'm heading over to Home Depot for some lumber. By the way, this is not a sponsored uh, Home Depot uh, video, but Home Depot, if you do wanna sponsor uh, me, have your people contact my people, because I now have people. Got my piece of wood, uh, as you can see. A uh, couple things, uh, I was supposed to get these things called hurricane clips. They didn't have the right ones. Or maybe we wanted something that doesn't exist. And um, so I have one piece of wood, I think I was supposed to get about 15 items. I have water heaters here. Hey! hey. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing good, thank you. you. Yeah, it's for me. Exactly. Yeah, for the bus. Thank you. So, pull the trigger on some wood, and uh, <laughs> this, is, this is where the bed is gonna lay. This is where all the uh, magic is gonna happen. All the snaps. I think we're looking pretty good. I know this guy's always happy when I buy something. <laughs> uh, by the way, it's another hot one. I probably didn't need to say that. I'm still in Texas, it is still summer. This is my third trip to the depot today. Second for Chris. And uh, he can't get enough of it. Right, we got what we need, a brand new blade for a nice clean cut of the expensive ass wood I bought earlier today. This is adding up quick. All right, the uh, bed is underway. We have a nice uh, piece of wood right here. We're gonna have two by fours going across this way and then plywood and then mattress. The top of the mattress should come up to about the window. Pillows against the uh, windows. Took us all of about maybe four minutes to put the two by tens up on the wall. Uh, these are the braces for the two by fours, which are going on top, just like the measuring tape. So uh, we got this new uh, blade, and we're gonna install it. Make some nice fresh cuts on the uh, two by fours. All right, here is the skeleton of the bed. We're gonna throw some uh, plywood on top and. Uh, a little rough estimate measurement with the mattress on top to see how far out it sticks out. So while Chris is cleaning up the inside of the bus, <laughs> thanks buddy pal, <laughs> I want to go to grab the, the uh, mattress, the yoga bed. Thanks yoga bed for sending me a free mattress by the way. That was really, really kind of you. Um, especially considering I'm on a budget. Uh, we're going to make a custom bed thing for it and we just want to make sure it's not too short, not too long. So the best way to do it is to put the bed on there, make measurements, and then cut. I just ditched the, uh, the dolly for the skateboard because uh, it's way more maneuverable. It's got big old, big old soft tire, so hopefully you can get this thing out there. All right, the yoga beds are doing tricks already on the skateboard. Here we go, sliding into my school bus like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> I can do a much better job than that. Speed wobble. Expanding. Ooh, look how pretty. It's even made of yoga pants. <laughs> I'm not lying when I say this is the most comfortable bed I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> I want to oh lay on a. This is so much better than a Tempur Pedic mattress. Is it? I have two, and this is incredible. I want to lay on it, but I'm so sweaty, as you can see. It's just like dripping off my face. So screw it. Oh wow! That's really cool. That's nice. I feel like the majority of construction so far is running around in circles. And um, the amount of hours that I'm actually like working on stuff, screwing things in, stripping paint, uh, you know, stuff like that is like actually minimal to the amount of running around to different places. I can't even tell you how many hours I've wasted trying to look for uh, you know, hardwood flooring. I mean, geez, it's been like two or three days. The lady still hasn't called me back. So um, that's my rant for today. This is what I'm after. This is a, a piece that takes the saw blade off the machine. We stripped it. I think we went the wrong direction. Need to buy a new one. They didn't have a replacement blade wrench. 
but one of the guys in there was super nice and said if I brought the table saw over, he'd take one of them uh, that they had and we could just change it real quick in the parking lot. So that is amazing and was way above and beyond if ever had uh, any other experience I've ever had at the Home Depot, so thank you. I got the blade installed. It took like literally two seconds to change. And uh, it was interesting, he was saying that like, for some reason, they don't carry that product and a lot of people come in there asking for that product, uh, the replacement thing and another one. And um, yeah, man, it's like he went way above and beyond what he had to do and um, but you know the unfortunate thing about super corporate places like the Home Depot is like he could actually maybe get in trouble for helping me out like taking something out of a new box so thank you we will remain a mystery <laughs> with who it is but super rad guy and I wish more places and more people um, you know helped out the customers like that so super grateful let's play a pra practical joke on Chris <laughs> This guy was so rad for like helping out. Yeah, was it, did Ooh. he have to struggle really hard? What? I think I put it on backwards. Just kidding! <laughs> oh, that would suck, wasn't it? <laughs> Your face was like, oh no. But Chris is so funny. He, he changed the Wi-Fi password to uh, something interesting. Well, happy camper, it doesn't matter. Right, Nobody, <laughs> you're not around here to steal internet. And not that you would. Anyway, so like he just changed <laughs> The router, and now he has to change all of his wireless stuff that he set up yesterday and all last week. So, cool. Have fun. I'll see you in 15 minutes. Later, buddy. <laughs> I hate when stuff like that happens. I'm over here at the uh, Austin Climbing Gym. Not sure what it's called, but uh, you can have some fun. Leave your handgun at home. Now you've got to remain. So we are back from rock climbing, and you guys remember the yoga bed because we took it out, took it out of the case and put it put it in the van, uh, in the bus to measure the size. Well, we can't get it back in that little box, so I don't know where to put it. So tonight is going to be the first night I'm sleeping on the yoga bed, and I'm super excited. Um, it's really comfy, and I'm not just saying that because they gave me the bed for free, but it legitimately is super comfy. Watch. Oh, yes, this is really nice. I think I want to make up for all that uh, lost sleep last night. <sighs> Good night, see you guys in the morning. Woo. Thanks, yoga bed. <laughs> <laughs>